the great Hemlo gold discovery did not happen on the first five drill holes. It did not happen on the first 10 drill holes. It was drill hole number 76. In the vicinity of previous drilling with known gold mineralization. Good exploration is never deterred by a few disappointing drill holes. Hi, George Sanders, President, Gold Cliff Resource Corporation. Today is Wednesday, November 5th, 2025, and we are coming to you from the Kettle Valley Gold Silver Epithermal Project in Southern British Columbia, and we want to document for you our activities over the last couple days in providing drilling infrastructure, that is access trails and drill pads on this exciting property. Just in the immediate foreground, uh, at the base of this clear cut are a couple of the setups for drill holes in 2022. And we'll talk more about that drilling and uh, our plans for getting up on top of the ridge and to drill from surface down rather than from this easy access here. And as I hope you will see, the progress over the last couple of days has been really fantastic in opening up uh, this portion of the ridge zone. So let's go take a look at what we've been doing. So here we are at the base of the drill trail that's going to take us up on top of the cliff zone in the northern part of the cliff zone. We have always been of the opinion that the initial drill program at Kettle Valley went too deep or undercut uh, the area of prospective gold and silver mineralization. And to provide a little bit of a spatial perspective uh, on that, you can see just in front of the white pickup, uh, if you can pick that up, there is the plugging of drill hole number three. And you can see that it was drilled at an angle to the east. And so that hole went, uh, I believe, just over 200 meters of core length. And when it got to the target area, it was several hundred meters below the surface of the cliff up to my left or to the east. So I think that that provides a good uh, spatial perspective for what we've been trying to say about the uh, continued prospectivity of Kettle Valley. And you can see uh, that the trail goes up through, uh, through the foggy area and indeed goes a little bit higher to the north and then it comes back again a little bit to the southern portion of the cliff zone and we will show you drill pads from both of those places. So now we, were, we are at the most northern end of the cliff zone. This is the drill pad the furthest to the north. Uh, just in front of me and down slope about 30 meters, we had a rock sample that assayed 0.59 grams per ton. So we know we are in the vicinity of uh, material that contains strong gold mineralization. Uh, from this pad, we will be able to drill in a couple of different directions. And on the hill up to this pad, we have encountered some very interesting rock that we haven't seen in drill core or in previous surface sampling. The rock is a little more gaussinous than we've seen in the past. And like some of the other material that we have seen, it's highly fractured. There are lots of veinlets and veins of quartz and quartz carbonate. The rock is highly silicified. And there are, in a number of the samples, a number of vugs. Uh, vugs are small holes where 
sulfides have been dissolved and they leave little cavities. So these are all things that exploration geologists like to see. I can tell you that if these rocks were at a new occurrence in the southwest U.S. or in northern Mexico, uh, the owners of the property and the explorationists examine that property would be highly excited and may even want to rush some of those through the assay lab. So we're very encouraged about seeing that. Um, a hole oriented to the south in that direction would undercut some of that surface, uh, some of those surface rock samples that were exposed by the drill tra uh, trail. So we're very excited about that. Now, the next place that we will head to is the southern portion of the North Cliff Zone, if you can make some sense of that. So this whole area is the northern part of the Cliff Zone. Uh, this is the most northerly pad and about 750 meters to the south of us in that direction we will now go and take a look at that drill pad. We are now at the southernmost drill pad of the northern part of the cliff zone. We're particularly excited about this pad because just over my shoulder to the left here and down the slope a few meters is the place where our best two surface samples were taken. Here is a picture of what that material looks like and the grades of those samples. Compelling gold grades and very compelling silver grades. So you can see the excavator working. He's constructing a pad. And from that pad, we will likely drill multiple short holes in a Christmas tree configuration. So a diagonal hole to the north, one to the south, and a couple out to the west. So just a quick shot here. This is Warner Grunwald in the area of our best samples at Kettle Valley. And we're just below the crest of the ridge on which I'm standing. So I'm gonna slowly pan around here. And we're gonna drop over to the other side. And there is the hoe constructing a drill pad. So we're only 20 or 30 meters away from the area of our best samples. And from that new pad, we will be able to drill a shallow hole just underneath. And so these couple of pads are going to give us a lot of new and very useful information. Hopefully we're going to pick up uh, some of the robust grade what, which was sampled in the vicinity here and we really look forward to advancing this highly exciting new epithermal project in southern British Columbia. Stay tuned!